Hey, well, Kermit the Frog here with Mr. Bus Huxley. Uh, I've got some questions for him today about the House from Trees video series. Uh, first of all, welcome, Mr. Huxley. And uh, secondly, what does that mean, a House from Trees? Well, thank you very much, Kermit. Uh, it's an honor to be here. I've been an incredibly big fan of yours my entire life. And uh, again, thank you. What does that mean? Uh, the house from trees, this is the structure that I'm building. It's, uh, it's going to be a small house um, down in the woods in the land that I grew up in in Maine. And uh, the reason I'm calling it that is because uh, I had to think of a title. Secondly, uh, a lot of the timber, most of the timber we see in here, um, and the structure, it's going to be a timber frame. The structure is going to be uh, out of pine, uh, mostly out of white pine that I've cut off the property here and milled with my friend Billy um, down at the sawmill about two and a quarter miles from, uh, from the property up on the hill. Very good. Uh, yeah. Are you doing this project alone? Are you working entirely alone on this? That's a good question. Uh, there is no way on earth I could be doing this alone. I don't have the knowledge, the ability, the skill, or the power, power to do this alone. Um, my neighbors have been instrumental, almost all of them have been instrumental in lending tools. Jeff, Ben, John and Jane, John and Debbie, um, Matt Burke, uh, everybody, almost everybody I know. Infinite help from Jeremy Gantz, his knowledge, and eventually I'll be employing him swinging a hammer over here. Um, everybody's been helping immensely, and like I said, there's no way I could be doing this alone. I mean, I might be able to, but it would be a lot worse. Have you got a uh, design in mind for this house? Because right now it just looks like a foundation sort of in the middle of a field with a flat roof. Yeah, that's a very good point. Uh, well, I can show you. I've got a couple sketches in my mind, but right now it's going to be in my head a timber frame um, with a shed roof that's facing south and uh, sort of a 312 pitch meaning a not, not a very steep roof. Well, in fact, I, uh, I happened to bring some, some uh, photos of it today, or some sketches that I made of it uh, today, and I can, I can show you, and uh, hopefully I can superimpose it. Uh, let's see here. Can, uh, can your cameraman see that? Let's see there. Yeah, something like this. Now, uh, this here, this, <coughs> this will be the, uh, this is the basement. The, op the big opening in the basement facing, um, facing out would be east. So looking this way is looking towards the west. And this big side would be south facing. Uh, and these timbers here would be about 20 feet tall. These are 16. These are about 12. And go out to a post here and possibly a drive-in um, sort of parking area in here. So again, this is just a rough sketch, but it's, uh, it's an idea. So, Mr. Oxley, how long do you plan on uh, taking to build this quote-unquote house from trees? Well, Mr. The Frog, uh, I expect this to not be that very that fast of a process. There's going to be certain costs, like the well, getting the well drilled, potentially getting power down here, or figuring out some kind of solar system. Solar system. Um, but the roof, there's going to be quite a few costs, and I'm, I'm trying to do this without loans. Um, I don't really want to have to pay this off, so it's going to take a few years, I think. Uh, I'm going to be trying to document the entire process as I go, as well as I possibly can. What are you thinking uh, with this giant opening here, this east-facing opening? Why would you make such a large opening in your basement? Otherwise, very highly insulated and tight. Yeah, that's a, that's a good question. Well, I like the idea of kind of blurring the lines between indoor and outdoor space. And that's, that's why I wanted this giant opening here uh, facing east. I think it's going to have really nice morning sun. Uh, I'm not planning on using this as a garage of any kind, but I want to be able to drive in here if I need to for some reason. I don't know. Uh, I'd like a garage door of some sort, really big, well-lit, highly insulated door. Uh, I, I just have no idea how I'm going to do that on my extremely limited budget. 
Uh, I'm, I'm interested in solving that little puzzle, though. If any of you have any suggestions or ideas, I'd love to, love to get some. A uh, question that's sort of been nagging me and I think some other viewers is, uh, well, simply, why? Why are you building this house now? It seems small. Well, that's right. You've hit the nail on the head, Kermit. Small. Uh, I grew up in the giant 1799 farmhouse up on the hill there. They didn't have insulation in the floors, ceilings, walls, single pane windows. Uh, there's enough water running through the, the, the dug basement in the spring that trout breed in it. Uh, literally, I've, I've found huge trout breeding in the basement. It's, I want kind of, I'm building the antithesis of that down here. So uh, I'm curious to see how, uh, how it turns out. Oh yeah, um, very good. Uh, are there any design elements that are going to be sort of uh, paramount or stick out uh, in terms of your house? A uh, house from trees? Well, yes, actually. Uh, there is going to be porch all the way along the bottom on the first floor. Um, not necessarily on the north side. That's going to have a lot of roof overhang to where I might be able to park or stack wood. Uh, there'll be Screened in porch there, possibly uh, on the south side on the first floor. East side, maybe screened in, maybe not, maybe just a deck, but sort of a, a protection, a, maybe coming out eight feet over this uh, garage door opening hole. Uh, the second story will be big and wide open. Uh, that's the beauty of the timber frame. I won't have to have any um, load bearing walls, so I can have as much sort of open space as I want with a lot of light pouring through all the way to the back. So it, it should be all right. It should be kind of interesting. Well, Mr. Huxley, I'm really glad I got the opportunity to meet you and to spend some time asking questions that your hundred uh, viewers have been clamoring to know. Uh, pressing, pressing issues here on the House from Trees video series. Uh, well, again, thank you very much, Mr. Huxley, and uh, well, I hope to do this again in the future. Well, again, thank you, Kermit. It's been an honor and a pleasure. I appreciate it. And uh, thank you all for watching. And if you have any more questions or comments, uh, I'd love any kind of tips or suggestions about the construction of this house, designs. Um, I've got a couple ideas for designs that I'm kind of basing off uh, that I found on the, on the, on the tubes here. And uh, here, like this one and this one. And this one. I'm going to be updating videos as much as I possibly can. I think it's uh, going to be the House from Trees series is going to be going into a slow time here during the winter. Uh, but I'm going to I'm going to show what I can of the the notches being cut and uh, hopefully snow falling. But there will be more videos from uh, Bus Oxley. Thank you very much for tuning in, and uh, I look forward to showing you more of this. And I look forward to at some point in the not too distant future recording from the incredibly well-insulated, well-lit confines of this house from trees.